As for that, if you're skeptical about it, um, I'm just an average Joe, okay? I don't know everything, even though you might think I do. And like I said before, if I don't think you can do it, I'm not going to show it. So I'm not going to teach you rocket scientist type things because it's just not in me to do that. I'm just, like I say, I'm just average. And you watch these different videos and you check out my channel. When you see me doing things, I, I try to explain things as I go. And if you think, hey, if Joe can do it, I should be able to do it then you're golden. And you know, you got any questions along the way, you can always send me a line, I'll get back to you. I'm not gonna tell you that you can do something and then leave you to the elements and not get back to you if you got any questions, you know what I mean? And, and make it look so easy that, uh, you know, half the time when you see something like that, you don't see explanations you know there's something going on. I show you the meat and potatoes of everything that's going on. If I can't fix it, I'm going to tell you I can't fix it. Or if it's leaking, I'm going to tell you that I couldn't fix it on the first time and, I, and I'll figure out how I'm going to do it so I can give it and show it to you. Because I don't want you having to go through the same things as me. I want you to be a little smarter than Joe when it comes to fixing the toilet, when it goes to um, installing a light fixture when it goes to whatever it is I'm showing on my channel or my site you know so you are not alone and you can do it I got faith in you okay I got that all disconnected now I'm just gonna kind of move it around lift with your back or actually bend your legs <laughs> Flex your legs and pick it up with your legs. Don't just reach over with your back, okay? Work smart now. I got a floor mat there, and I just stuck that upside down on a floor mat. I put the floor mat upside down too. You don't want to just put this on a tile floor a hardwood floor, the carpet, or anything like that. Just put something down, protect it on your work surface and stuff, and, and we'll just, I think we'll be able to do everything right from here. My, my, I bring my back brace here and I don't even put it on. You know, make sure you get this on before you start lifting heavy things. I put my back brace on now, it's underneath my t-shirt, so if you see me without it on, I actually have it on, all right? Now is this deja vu? You know, you probably just saw some of this from before when I took the old one off. Now this is a new one, but I'm taking this off for a reason, so bear with me. You see this nut in here? This is just how this particular toilet installed like this. Usually you don't have a triangular piece here. And I'm going to show you a different way you can hook that up. Okay, but for this instance, this is how the existing was. So I try to go to the store and, and get all my parts to match this. Well, I'm having a heck of a time tightening this nut up. And I think that's why it's leaking. You know, see your, your rim around here? I, I got my channel locks here and it's hard to get in there. I really want to get my channel lock sideways and clamp down on it and turn it like regular. But you know, I may have to go sideways like this to get it. And if I, I'm turning it right now, and if I can turn it that easy, that tells me it's not tight enough. But I couldn't get in there, you know, and get it any other way because this flange is in my way. Now granted, I can get these screws out of, out of, out of the way like that. But you see, I, I could kind of put it in like that and smash the, the uh, rubber gasket out of the way a little bit and kind of grab it. But even then, I'm halfway on, halfway off, and it was really hard to get that tight. I think that's one of the, one of the pr big problems here, just getting this nut tight. Now, do they have a special wrench to get in there? I don't know. I mean, I went to, I went to a two professional plumbing wholesale houses 
Asked them if there was a special wrench to get in there. They just kind of looked at me like, oh, well, you know, people usually use channel locks or, you know, something like this. There's a, there's a pipe wrench that is, it's kind of a funky configuration to put, put it in there. But I thought there might be a tool with a bend in it that you could kind of fish in underneath here and really crank down on that. But I didn't see anything like that either. What to do, what to do. You're going to get a good education on toilet tank connections. And if this has ever given you fits or questions about all the different parts and which one goes where and what should you get at the store and how do you do it and all that, I'm going to hopefully take all that guesswork out of, out of there for you. Okay, so i got to take this nut off. And this was a new nut that I put on. But this... Um, the threaded section was existing, and that could be a problem too, but I'll get to that. I'll get to that. First things first, get this nut off of here. Okay, it's just a little nylon or heavy duty plastic nut, and that should be plenty to tighten on, but see how small this ridge is to where you see, if I'm putting it sideways and trying to tighten it, I'm actually smashing it in a little bit. And it could jump the threads, you know. Ideally, I should have the wrench on there sideways like that and crank down on it. But you see how I, it's just difficult to do that with this type. All right. Rest assured, I'm going to show you a different type that you can new, do, use. Newsflash. If your toilet tank has one uh, rubber gasket on there with the assembly just like this, you don't have to use one exactly like that. Did you know that? I mean, you run around the store to all kinds of stores and you find out nobody's got it. And you got a special order and all this and, you're, and your toilet, you can't use your toilet for a week because you can't find the parts. And then once you find the parts, you can't get this thing tight for it not to leak. It's like, what's the deal? I want to help you with that. You know, this part here, I'm just going to push in there. I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, but around this gasket area here, you see this? Look at that. This is a little gasket. It's kind of like heavy cardboard. And this was in the old one. And I couldn't for the life of me figure that out. When I bought this new setup, it didn't come with this. It came with, with this new setup and, and the screws and the washers and stuff. And it even came with this nut, but it didn't come with one of these. What do you suppose this is for anyways? It's not a rubber gasket. It's kind of like heavy duty cardboard, not really cardboard, but you know what I mean. That washer material, real stiff. But look at, look at it. I'm just pulling it apart because it's so wet and waterlogged. Let's talk about what came in the package of these parts. Okay, there's a, there's a new one. That's not the same one. See, there's, there's that one there. Let's pretend that this one down here has, is eight years old, okay? Now granted, this one's, this one's new, but I'm going through this for a reason. Take a look at this one up here. It came with that. It came with the new nut, so the nut fits on there. And that's, it's funky. See, there's prongs on here, and those go up, you know, where the bolt holes are. Okay, and then it comes with the big rubber gasket, and that fits on the inside of the toilet. And then it comes with the bolts and washers and all that to attach this to the toilet bowl. But it doesn't come with one of these washers. Incidentally, I went to two different wholesale houses and they had a package just like this, this thing here. It came with everything except voila, without the washer. And I said, well, just give me a couple of those washers. Oh, we don't have any. We have to special order those. So see, right off the get, um, they, they try to deceive the how-to installer. 
about buying all your stuff, but you can't really install this without that washer. Let me explain further. 